Hey, what's happening? It's uh, John Joseph from cro and now Blood Clot, and you're listening to What's Metal. <clears throat> so um, uh, let's start with the obvious stuff first. Uh, so the tour is announced as a cro tour, some kind of, um, uh, yeah, let, let's call it like a tribute thing to 20 years Age of Quarrel. Exactly. So probably you can give us a bit more details about well, we that. We call it Feel as Vampire Killers, like after the Bad Brains tune. But uh, it says, you know, original members of the cro me and Mackie, you know, we're the original members, so, uh, but the tour's been going great. We did a bunch of dates in May, and then this is the last of it, so. Mm. So I um, saw the <coughs> Pro Max only once in my life that uh, was more like an accidental thing, uh, that was the Alpha Omega Tour. I'm not even sure if you were in the lineup at that time on that tour, uh, but I was checking um, a few websites during the last few days just to get updated on what was going on. It seems to be that there is a lot of uh, bad blood uh, at the moment, uh, especially between Harley and you. So uh, did you ever contact him, like, participating in this tour? Of course. But th the problem is all the bad blood and the bullshit that's being written is coming from his side. You don't see me having any websites or answering any of that dumb shit because there's a reason he's not out on this fucking tour, and it's because the guy's a crook. And, uh, you know, he's he's stolen money from the band in the past all the time. And he, you know, it's just a negative vibe. I, I tried to put the band back together with him three years ago. And, he, you know, starting fights at shows with people and just underhanded things. And I, I just didn't want to, um, I go on tour and play music to have fun, not to have problems. So... We had to take the problem out of the equation. We, that's why it's not booked as the cro -Mags. It's FVK with original members of the cro yeah. me and Mackie. You know? But, you know, the book's going to drop, and it lets everybody know the real story of what went down in the cro without me having to go, like, you know, online every fucking day and write all this bullshit. And uh, it's so childish that... To me, you know, life is bigger than the cro -Mags anyway. It was part of, you know, what I did, but it's not everything, and, you know, so. Yeah. yeah to me, it was very hard to get your opinion on those things, so it's, it's good to do this interview. Now. I, don't, I don't sit there writing. The fact of the matter is the reason I quit before Best Wishes was because Harley ripped off all the band's money at the end of a tour, and I had to come back, and, and the guy's supposed to be my brother, and there I am homeless on Christmas and New Year's in 1987. And then, you know, I, I get back with him in 91. He fucking steals all the money off the tour. He steals all the money from the Alpha Omega fucking uh, bank account that Century Media gave us to buy Backline. The money disappeared, and he, became, he, he was fucking shooting drugs into his arm without money. He fucking turned me into the United States government. I mean, he fucking wanted to put me, tried to put me in jail for 10 years, you know, off all, just going to the cops, ratting me out on all this, all the shit that I did. And it's like, you know, he's constantly just spreading lies on the Internet. So I don't feel it's so, it's so ridiculous that, you know, he just says, oh, yeah, this book, this is someone who lied and told everyone he's a Navy SEAL for 20 years. Mm -hmm. It's like everybody knows what I've been telling people about my military career or anything else for that, for that matter. And, you know, when you have to go around, I question anybody's integrity. When they have to go around and discredit everybody else to make themselves look like they're the right person, I question anybody who does that constantly. What is their motive? And, you know... I may not get along with some past band members, original members like Paris, but one thing we both agree on is there's a reason Paris won't play with him either, because Harley robs the band. So I don't answer all the dumb shit that he writes on the internet. I don't have time. I'm writing three fucking movies for Hollywood. I got a book coming out. I got a new band. I fucking train every fucking day. I help feed the homeless. I got tons of shit to do, man. For me to be sitting in there like a little fucking asshole and writing all this shit on the internet every fucking day, he's got too much time on his hands. Go make a fucking good record. Go do something. Go get a job. He doesn't even have a job. He's on welfare. He's on the dole. 
And he, the only money he makes is what he sells off Chrome Mag stuff. With my, he, he's selling DVDs and all this shit. He fucking published my songs in his name. Fucking, he tells everyone he wrote everything. It's just, everything is me, 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 me. He won't give credit to, I give credit to Paris. If it wasn't for Paris, Harley, Mackie, and me, there would have been no Age of Quarrel. I say that 100 fucking percent. But go on his website and see who the fuck says, you know, w what with the crow mags. You know, so it's for me to sit there answering like a bunch of dumb stuff that some little, you know, about fighting. Like, everybody knows the deal. Like, if you got to brag about what a fighter you are and all this shit, you're not a fighter. Just like lovers that brag what amazing... You know, I'm a fucking sexual champion in the bed. Whatever. Anybody that needs to constantly brag about shit they're doing is insecure. So, I don't get on the internet and talk shit. To me, I think I'd rather go play music, be positive. I put my book out. I go do spoken word. I just do positive stuff. I don't have time for the negative shit. But everybody knows the real deal what would happen if homeboy came up to my face and talked shit. It'd be over very quickly. But like I said, I, I, I move in silence. I don't have to tell people and brag to people about what I do every fucking day and what I don't do and making it look like it's what I do and w vice versa or whatever. I just stay positive and make art. That's what it's about. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's very interesting to hear another opinion on that. Um, well, that's not the opinion, dude. That's... Opinion is one thing. That don't make it fact. I told you fact. And my facts is not delusional shit written on the internet that nobody else can back up. My shit is you can go to other band members that were in the Chromags. You can go to anybody. You can go to the record companies and ask them. Go to Century Media and ask them if Harley stole $15,000 from the bank account. Mm -hmm. Don't take my word for it. Read my book. Buy the fucking CD and go do the research yourself. It's not, uh, it's not in a fucking opinion. It's, that's the fucking facts. See, when people start s spinning stories nonstop out of control, and then he turns around and makes everyone else seem like, yeah, John's like a used car salesman. He believes his own bullshit. This is somebody that told everyone he's a Navy SEAL for 20 years. It, that's all bullshit. And everybody knows the real fucking deal. And now the fucking, even though the, that's only a small part, my my initial fan base to buy the book is the hardcore fucking metal people, whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's like that's that's the truth of the situation of what went down in the Chromags, and it can all be fucking backed up. So it's not a matter of like that's my opinion. Opinions like assholes. Everybody has an asshole. Everybody has an opinion, and then there's the fucking facts of what really fucking happened, and that's what's written about in my book and that's what I'm dropping on people because if this motherfucker didn't go out there saying all this bullshit mm. and making me look like a fucking liar and, and like I quit the band so many times yeah I quit the band motherfucker because when my own fucking supposed best friend in the world is robbing me record companies I could deal with profile and my manager robbing me when my own fucking brother and band member and dude I put my life on the line for rips me off, then I had enough. That's why I wasn't on Best Wishes. So it's not uh, a matter of, like I said, opinion. I choose my words very carefully because I'm a writer. And it's not a matter of fucking opinion. It's a matter of this is what really happened and this is not what happened. And you talk to any other band members that played with him or fucking been in lineups with him, or anything that had to deal with him and you will get the same motherfucking story of what I'm telling you and it's just that's the story I'm not doing it because I'm slagging anybody I'm doing it because that's the story you want to know why the crow mags broke up here's the fucking story here's the facts of what happened which you'll never ever fucking read on any of his fucking websites that he went to the cops against me and tried to put me in federal fucking prison for 10 years. Okay? And threatened me that he was going to do it. Calling my fucking house at 3 o'clock in the fucking morning and telling me he's going to fucking do it. So, there's the facts. Let the fucking chips fall where the fuck they may. That's, 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 that's my...
take on the whole fucking thing. And that's not opinion, like I said. That's what really happened. 